In today's show, we have a story on Live 360. The tennis preview. Spain trip. And we went 90 feet with Park Loma. I'm Carson. And I'm Maiden. And this is SVTV. Hey Carson, have you heard about Life360? Yeah, I have it on my phone. I do as well. We went and see, saw how students feel about the app. Life360 is an app that allows you to track friends and family and also look at their recent driving destinations. Um, you know, I have to admit, it is nice to have that app to be able to look um, if I'm not sure exactly where the kids are. I'm definitely for parents, it's a good thing because my, my mom uses it mainly just to know that like I'm safe. I think it's a good app especially for like kids that are younger because I know like my little sister has it and it's just good to always know like where she is. It's kind of a pain because it tries to keep you straight and you don't lie but then you get caught in the middle of lies. I do like the app uh, when I found out about it I thought oh that's that's kind of a neat thing to be able to uh, see where they are. Over 3 million families created a circle with the app in the year 2017. I do feel safer knowing that my parents know where I'm at because usually I'm not going places that I shouldn't be at. No, I don't feel safer. Uh, they all, my parents already know where I am all the time, so no, it doesn't help. More than 60% of smartphone users report that they use at least one location sharing app on their smartphone and over 50 million families use the app worldwide. I think other kids should, I mean, yeah, they should have the app. Um, it does help keep them safe. Yeah, I think they should because, like I said, it's a really good app to use in case of emergencies. No, if you have an option, don't, don't do it. Don't do it because you're going to get caught lying. Life360 can be used on iPhones and Android, which allows the two phones to be in the same circle. If you have Life360, then add close friends or family to your group or even create a circle in order to stay safe. Looks like there's some mixed opinions. Now switching stories, here's Mrs. Martinez with a special announcement. Hey Vikes, I'm Ethan. I'm with Ms. Martinez to talk about the upcoming Spain trip. What is it? Well, what it is, uh, it's a trip with Washburn University um, and we're invited to go um, on, it's like a mini study abroad. Um, it's 21 days long, you get to improve Spanish, you get to go to, um, it's based in Salamanca, but you also get to go to um, Barcelona, Madrid, the Mediterranean Sea, and several other places. Um, you get to take cooking classes, visit a guitar making factory, um, uh, museums, a lot of really cool things. Um, so that's basically what it is. It's in June of 2020, so plenty of time to prepare. Um, yeah, and we're just hoping people sign up for more information in my room by next Friday. In room W20. Now back to Yankers. Make sure to see Miss Martinez if you want to go on the trip. Now, into the news. Outside date forms for prom are going to be available on March 27th. If you're in need of a dress for prom, the Northland Christian Church is going to be running a closet on March 23rd. If you're planning on going to the Afterglow, tickets will be sold from April 1st to the 5th. If you plan to graduate early next December, please get your application letters to Mrs. Alexander as soon as possible. Students in AP courses, AP exams are optional and cost $94. Exams will be given at SHS during the regular school day. International Thespian Society will be selling break-a-leg messages all next week during lunch and at the show for $1. See Mrs. Murphy in W7 for questions. Now we'll find out what the tennis team has been up to after this break. Hundreds of students come to school every day ready to learn. But what if the students didn't show up? 
This is an issue that many students face and it's called truancy. For this episode, we talked to multiple individuals about how truancy affects Shawnee County schools and how it also affects our district. We spoke to the school officials, the district attorney, a student who has struggled with truancy, and our attendance secretary, Deanna Brady. The semen blood drive will be on Friday, March 22nd from 9.30 a.m. to 2 p.m. You must be 16 or older and you need to submit a permission slip before donating. Sign-up sheets are found in government teachers' rooms or in Mr. Riley's room. Sign up today so you can help save a life. Bailiff, take the witness into custody where she will be charged for the murder of Hayworth Wyndham. In the matter of the state versus Brooke Wyndham, this case is dismissed. Mrs. Wyndham... You're free to go. Everyone's seen Legally Blonde in the movie, but now you can see it live at your Seaman High School theater. The theater department has been working hard to get the musical ready. Legally Blonde the musical will be playing at 7 p.m. from March 28th to March 30th. Tickets will be sold at the doors and lunch for $8. The tennis team is gearing up for this season. Let's see what their goals are. The weather has finally gotten warmer and the boys tennis team has went outside to set up the courts. Uh, the weather's been so bad we've not been able to go outside. We've just been inside for the first couple of weeks and we're just now getting outside to start hitting her out. Uh, last year we took uh, first at regionals and we have five of the, four or five of those guys returning so I think we're going to have a pretty good season this year. Last year the boys won regionals so the coaches and students are very excited about the upcoming season. Uh, my goals for this season would be to uh, probably win a couple games at state, make it in the second day and uh, won a couple meets to, as a team. Uh, last season we took, we won regionals and then made it to state and ended up getting killed by every team there so hoping to improve on that. Um, I wanted to do tennis because I wanted to try it out, um, see if I liked it. Um, my goal for the season is to have fun and um, get better at tennis. The boys' first meet will be next week on Thursday when they take on Shawnee Heights at Western Hills. Looks like they're planning on having a great season. Kobe Jones will be signed to Minute America Nairson for football on Friday at 1030. If you're interested in trying out for cheer, be sure to pick up the packer from coaches Mrs. Geis and Miss Hurt or the front office. Tryouts are going to be held March 23rd. If you're interested in trying out for the 2019-2020 Vicat dance team, Pick up an informational packet from Ms. Schaefer's room in W9. Cameron walked 90 feet with Parker Wildeman. Hey Vikes, I'm out here with Parker, going to walk from home to first to hear about this baseball season. What are your expectations for this season compared to last season? Well, last season, as you guys probably know, we won state and we're just trying to make it back to keep on the, the streak that we have. Sounds good. What are your goals for this season? Well, I'm a pitcher, so you know I'm trying to go out there and throw the best I can every game and just help win the game. Are you planning on leaving the mustache for this season? Of course, that's the whole reason I grew it out. You know, <laughs> got to be up there with it. Okay. And when is your first game? Uh, we play Friday in Lawrence at 6:45, and then we're supposed to have a home game Friday, but it kind of depends on the weather, whether or not we play here, because the outfield's still basically dirt. But hopefully, we'll play at home on Saturday. So come out if you can. Okay, thank you, Parker. Now back to your anchors. Baseball season opener is tomorrow. Now over to Josh with the weather. Oh my, we have some mild weather continuing throughout the next few days. Check out all this green and even a little bit of yellow on this map. That means highs in the 50s and 60s. We're going to be staying dry as well through Friday with a fair amount of sunshine, at least through the first half of the day, increasing clouds later in the day, leading up to a rain chance for Saturday. So let's take a look here. 6 a.m., some showers moving through the area. We'll catch on and off breaks throughout the day. None of this looks overly heavy until we get to Saturday night and into Sunday when some thunderstorms are possible. You see these areas of yellow orange and red that's some locally heavy rainfall saturday night into sunday it will not be a weekend washout but rain possible 
both Saturday and Sunday. And checking out the seven-day forecast, some nice weather tomorrow, perfect for cheese pizza at lunch. Then there comes those thunderstorms on Sunday. Well, you can see temperatures staying mild throughout the next seven days, highs in the upper 50s and 60s. Now, Aiden and Carson, back to you. That's it for today, Bikes. Have a great rest of your day.